Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Today, me and Callum are taking on the house. It's actually Easter Sunday, but it's actually the only day this weekend that I've got off and me and Callum have decided to basically gut the house, but not in like an organisational sense. As in, we are going to remove the blinds, do a little bit of mould treatment. We're pulling out the couch and the spare bed and we're, we're sorting that out. We've already done two loads of washing. We've got a third one on. We've got a fourth silicone. one ready to go. We're going to be doing some silicone in. Like, all the jobs that you you don't need to do all the time is the bits that we're going to get around to. We're stripping both the beds. New sheets on those. So, here we go. Clean and Caddy is upstairs, ready to go. We're starting upstairs. We're going to work our way downstairs. Um, this is the, the current spare bedroom situation. Everything's been stripped, pulled forward. And, wow. Oh, gross. <laughs> disclosure this is the situation in the bedroom and we're very clean people but this is something that you just can't really avoid it's awful and then this is the situation in the second bedroom we try and keep a general level of like maintenance on this in terms of like behind the blinds obviously I can't get to that so hence why the blinds are coming off and we're giving it a good good scrub because this is not ideal really uh but unfortunately i don't think there's any way to fully prevent it from I, I, again i could be completely wrong let me know but i don't think there's any way to fully prevent it unless we were to get new windows look at the installation and yeah but i feel like once isn't once mold in there it's like a proper deep rooted issue i don't know anyway let's crack on I'm trying to avoid showing you some recent garden renovations that have actually been underway and showing you Callum clearing out the shed. Yes, we do need to do a sort my shed with me. I think that that is potentially a good video idea actually. Maybe we do do a shop, sort my shed with me, see what stuff we've actually got in there, find some spiders. Um, be a nice one to do anyway um, before summer. Just so you can see in comparison to how it was, it has all pretty much come off. So now for the preventative measures. Callum's actually already painted the windows in the master bedroom, but he's gonna now give these a second or, you know, a bit of time to breathe. Um, and then he's gonna paint the windows in the spare room. Now, moving into the bathroom, Callum's just given the fan a quick clean and he's just said, as an electrician, he'll go to a lot of houses and they say that their fan's not working and it's absolutely full of... You know what the word is? Blood. The worst thing ever, replacing someone else's fan. I don't know why it's weird, like even touching my own is fine. Right. It's your own dust. What, because it's just like, it looks like grime, you mean like it looks dirt? Like cubes. Nice, so nice. Really so clean your fans everyone, okay? <laughs> Don't, uh... Yeah, it will, it will make them last longer. Okay, advice there from an electrician. I'm gonna start on the bathroom window next. Bit of a tricky one because there's actually like no edging. It's literally just window frame tile. Um, and the people before us, they actually painted on the window frame. We don't know whether that was like um, a bathroom paint or mold preventative paint, but either way, it feels like now the, the frame is just a breeding ground for mold so we're going to give this a good scrub but this is just the hardest one to kind of combat because it's almost got something to attach to all 
drying with paint upstairs and we are going to leave that for a little bit um bathroom needs a second coat but we've just literally got all the windows open upstairs airing it out completely we're going to tackle the big french doors that we have um because around the outside of that as well just not ideal the the back doors definitely aren't as bad as the windows but around the outside it's like it hasn't been insulated properly so yeah we need to give that a little look at Together. I mean the living room currently is like this the rig here but Callum's just hoovering through I'm gonna mop through in a second I'm using the last of my Zaflora um, winter morning until autumn which makes me really sad so I need to find my Zaflora summer scent I normally pick something like mandarin or cucumbery um, but I thought I'd just quickly show you the French windows um, I don't think I showed you it before sorry about the hoover noise but in general nice and bright and light there wasn't much sign of mold to be honest at the back window because i think because we're downstairs a lot of the time there's generally um a bit more heat down here um so the window in the kitchen and the back win uh, back double doors are yeah pretty okay um yeah we're just gonna wrap up now 